IBM and Cisco both up about 20 percent, Intel up 15 percent. And is their rise also a sign of the demise of the FANG trade? My next guest says yes. Let's bring in David Bonson. He's founder and chief investment officer for the Bonson Group. David, the performance of some of those FANG components looks pretty good this year. What's your beef? Well, I think with the FANG components, it's thinking of it as FANG, as one monolithic entity. The performance has been really good. In Facebook, you're, you're up about 25%, but then in Netflix, you're down 10%. Apple is down 5%. Some are trading at 28 times earnings, like Facebook. Then you look at uh, Netflix trading at 70 times earnings. So it's such a disparate group at this point that I don't think it's acting monolithically anymore. David, we had to ask the man who coined the Moniker in 2013, if he agreed with you, here's what Jim Cramer said. People have wanted to give an obituary to these stocks forever. I am probably the only portfolio manager from my actionworksplus.com who actually wrote obituaries for two years. I covered homicide. I know obituaries. This is no obituary. <laughs> he is not ready to bail on it, David. Can it still work? Can this trade still work? Nine, what, eight years uh, in the running? Yeah, the, if anyone thinks that the companies are going away, then it's ridiculous. That's not my thesis. My thesis is that the idea of it being the hottest thing that is driving stock market returns, I definitely believe that period has come to an end. But you have very solid cash flow generating companies. I happen to think they're all overpriced. We're dividend growth people, which leads to the IBM, Cisco, Intel conversation. But the idea that FANG is dead is certainly not our case. The companies itself, sure, sure, sure. And so so to add insult to injury in a way, the, let's talk about why these old tech names are so attractive to you. You mentioned that you're a dividend guy. You're looking for that income. Uh, but they have also a decent performance this year because sometimes those dividends are a red flag or they go away. They're undermined by a poorly performing stock. Why is 2021 going to be the year? And maybe you think it's even beyond this year that this group of stocks will continue to work. Yes. Now, first of all, Kelly, the dividends don't go away for us because that, of course, is our underlying thesis, dividend growth. We have to believe in the sustainability of the dividend and avoid dividend cuts at all costs. But your point is a really good one. A lot of these great dividend names over the years, we all know General Electric and others have, have cut their dividend. It's our job to avoid that. With IBM, with Intel, with Cisco, we have to look to the free cash flow covering the dividend. When companies are paying a dividend out of basically the company credit card, that is not the way you want to go. With these companies, all three have one thing in common. Old mainline businesses that kick off a ton of cash and then catalyst for growth into the future at really low P.E. ratios. The market hasn't bought it. The market hasn't believed in it. We want the market to not believe in it because we're buyers. We like low valuation entry points. Mm -hmm. But now IBM going from 100 to 150, Cisco and Intel have had new life breathed into them. You know, eventually the market does find value. That's what's going on right now. Last question on principle. Are dividend growers, let's say, um, inflation protected? Oh, they're the greatest inflation hedge of all time. There is no inflation if companies with pricing power are not themselves raising their prices. The ability for a good equity, a good company to pass on the impact of inflation to its customers and then the investors to receive that benefit in growing dividends, uh, uh, dividend growth portfolio should see its annual income going up 5 to 10 percent per year. Well, that's higher than 1970s level inflation. So we absolutely believe dividend growth is an inflation head, short and long term. All right. Well, I hate to tell you, but we're going to have to call them icky. IBM, Cisco and Intel is David Bonson's new trade for the year. Thank you very, very much, sir, for coming here and making your case. We really appreciate it.